Headhunters. So this is a Norwegian movie, so you got to watch it with the English uh, subtitles. Unless you I know gave, Norwegian. Yeah, unless you... Yeah, that's true. Uh, I gave Headhunters a 3.5 out of 5. Uh, it starts strong with a build-up leading to the heist-gone-wrong plot, and then it really cranks up the pacing, violence, and gross-out factor and gets a little too convoluted in all of the otherwise thrilling suspense. So this movie was refreshing. So it's about, just briefly, uh, a guy who at the very beginning makes a big point of like, I'm short and not as attractive as other men, and uh, I compensate in other ways. And the way he compensates is he has a regular job as a headhunter, but then he steals art on the side. So it's kind of a <laughs> quirky premise, and as a result of stealing art, he has a lot of money, and it's clear that because of this money, he was able to find an attractive woman to marry or live with him. And so, you know, you see a little bit of the dialogue or the the voiceover from him explaining his premise. Um, but then he wants to make, you know, kind of one last big heist to make a lot more money because even though he has some money from stealing art, he actually is running pretty dry. It's very clear that he spends more than he makes from his regular gig <laughs> plus his stealing art gig. So, you know, I thought it was pretty quirky and creative. As it starts, you're really interested to see what's going on. Um, and then it gets kind of crazy <laughs> with <laughs> a lot of stuff that I can't say because it'll kind of spoil it, but it goes in a totally different direction where he's on the run and he's trying to run away from guys that uh, uh, have a vested interest in seeing him dead for other reasons that aren't related. He ends up being more important than he originally thought. Um, and I guess uh, it has the one dude from... Uh, it has the King Slayer. What's that actor's name? He has kind of a... Uh, name. Nikolai Koster Waldau or something like that. Yes, yes. Um, if you want to see him speaking Norwegian, and uh, I was I was like, wait, is this guy from Norway? Turns out he's originally from Denmark, and I didn't think that those languages were that similar, but what do I know? Um, I, I think they're pretty similar. Anyway, they, okay. whatever. <laughs> anyway, I, mean, I was just like... The countries are close for whatever that's worth, and they're sort right. of the same culture. Anyway, okay, whatever. I, I fail on my research there, but um, he does a great job. He's the villain, um, mm. and he... And he's also kind of the villain in two ways because he's also super handsome and tall by comparison. <laughs> ah, the foil too, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, anyway, it's a quirky movie. It does get a little gross and like extremely violent, like the opposite of World War Z. There is no restraint. <laughs> and there's like some violence shown that you're like, why did you show me that? <laughs> I did not need to see that level of grotesque whatever. Um, so uh, I got a little buzz. I got somebody who said, that was a crazy movie. It just got more bizarre, but I did enjoy it. And uh, it sounds like you agreed with that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that is Headhunters. Cool.